Hi guys, this is Edward at Photor. Today we're going to learn how to make a fantastic advertisement using Photor's new design feature. We're going to do this in three simple steps. The first step will be choosing your template and dragging images into it. The second step will be moving overlays and modifying text. The third will be choosing your background, previewing your template and finally saving it. To begin, go to the Photo website, click Start Now, choose the poster template, and then you can see to the left-hand side of the screen, there are a number of pre-made templates for you to choose from. Once you've chosen a template, import the images you wish with the import button located on the right hand side of the screen. Once you've found the image you want, simply click on it, drag it over the pre-existing image until that image is greyed out, and then when greyed out, simply release and the image will replace. Once the image has been copied into the image box, you can move it around to find the spot that you want. Once this is done, we can move on to the second step. The second step is about moving overlays around, deleting overlays, and modifying the text. To select your overlays, simply drag a box from outside of your template over the number of overlays you wish to select, and then you can move them as a single group. A number of lines will appear running vertically and horizontally across the template these are there to ensure that your template remains symmetrical. Text is very easy to modify using Photor's new design feature. The specific text options are available on this toolbar here, which appears when modifying any text box. Everything from the font to the color can be modified. Once this is chosen and in place, we are now ready to move on to stage three, selecting a background and previewing. Clicking the background image located to the left-hand side of the screen will open up a number of selections. Here we have some pre-made textures and patterns for your photo or background. Today, however, we're going to use something more basic, a single color background. Once you've chosen the right color, you are now ready to preview your image. At the top of the screen, there will be a toolbar, and within that toolbar will be an eye which says preview. Clicking on this will show your image to the backdrop of a white brick wall. This will give you a rough idea of how your design will look after it's been printed. With your design finalized and everything in place, you are now ready to save your image. Choose the format you wish and the quality that you wish to save the file as. Once this is done, simply click Save to my computer and there you have it. There's your design. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're going to be producing more of these helpful tutorials in the future. Stay tuned and stay creative.